it well? Could have been better. Oh, I'm sorry you didn't get the scoop that you wanted, but to be honest with you, I'm a little relieved. It would have been a real ratings grabber, trust me. It would have been a heart grabber. But I want all the women who go to the clinic to be artificially inseminated to feel as secure as I did. I mean, being artificially inseminated with the wrong sperm would be a freak out for any mother to be. I'll get it. WRCW. Oh, one minute, please. Dr. Clater's office reminding you of an appointment today? I forgot. Uh, will you reschedule for me? So you're not going to keep the appointment? Well, it was... I have to edit what we just did. Well, get someone else to do that. Well, it's just the AFP blood test. Dr. Clater said I could do it in a week. Or... Liza, you have to go. You must keep this appointment. Why? Why are my doctor's appointments so important to you? My pregnancy is progressing beautifully. Why do I have to break my neck to make an appointment? <laughs> Look, I wouldn't, I wouldn't allow you to break one bone in that beautiful body. But uh, you did promise me that you were going to ease up on your workload, remember? You weren't going to let it be a priority over the health of this child? The AFP blood test is not life or death. But it is important. We can wait. The alpha fetal protein test can indicate genetic defects in the fetus. Now, if it shows somehow that there's an irregularity... Oh, God forbid. Then you can't afford to wait too long to be, have amniocentesis. Now look, why don't you go, okay? I will go, I'll come back later on. I'll work with the editor on the piece. You keep the appointment. You really think so? Baby comes first, remember? I'll even go with you to Dr. Clater's if you no, want. No, 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 I'll, I'll do it. I'm a big girl. Hi, it's Liza. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry for the delay. I'll be there as soon as I can. I, I just got held up. Okay. Bye. Uh, that's good. Great. Listen, I just realized I have an appointment myself, so um, I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey. I thought you had an appointment. Wrap that up. On to something new. Like following me? Now, why would I do something like that? Because you're an overachiever on prenatal monitoring. No, 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 no. I'm through with that, I promise. But since you're the one that brought up the subject... Well, boy, I'll never learn. How did your AFP test come out? Oh, Dr. Clater took the blood, but he doesn't have the results back yet. But he'll have them in time for you to take the amnio, right? Amnio? No. No, no amnio. Not me, not now, ever. You sound so determined. Well, it's invasive. It's unnecessary. There's a risk of miscarriage. <laughs> oh, come on, Liza. The risks are so minimal. Don't you want to know everything there is to know about your baby? But David, if it's healthy, what else do I need to know? Its genetic profile? It's human. It has ten fingers and ten toes. I think I'd like to do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> what, are you planning on giving birth out in a cornfield, too? No, no, I don't, I don't think so. Not this time around. So why don't you go for the complete picture that Amnio can give you? I'll tell you why. Sorry to intrude, Liza, but why are you suggesting amniocentesis? It's an established diagnostic tool. For problem pregnancies, are you suggesting Liza falls into that category? No, of course not. Well, then why bring it up? Liza's too young to need an amnio. Excuse me, Adam, I wasn't aware that you were medically qualified to offer up an opinion. All right, all right, guys, let's just cool it, okay? I'm the one that's carrying the child, and right now I'd like to not talk about it. Of course, I, I was simply concerned, that's The only all. one who really has a right to be concerned is Adam. Our baby was still born at five and a half months, and he knows how worried I am about my child. I'm sorry. Look, David, if my AFP levels are abnormal and they're high, and Dr. Clater recommends an amnio, I will consider it. Okay, but just understand this. The risks are so low, and the payback is so important. High levels of AFP can be good news. It, it could mean that you're having twins. Well, can we just drop this? You don't need an amnio. You're a healthy woman. You're going to have a perfectly healthy child. Of course you are. Oh, excuse me. Now, Eliza, we can finish your exam now. Did the AFP blood test come back yet? I was working on it. Nothing's wrong. No, 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 no. It just takes time. They're going to flash me on my computer as soon as we get the results. Okay. Oh, just, just a second, please. You have a problem? You're far too concerned with Liza's personal life. Well, that's Liza's concern, not yours. You're a cardiologist. That's your specialty. Why don't you stick to that? We work together, Adam. We have a professional relationship. Oh, bull. 
Liza is a spectacular woman. She's passionate, she's uh, brilliant, exciting, and I'm sure you haven't failed to notice extremely attractive. You're using her pregnancy to win her trust. And you're using it to frighten her, to make her frightened so she'll depend on you, but it's not gonna work, Doctor. She doesn't need you to rescue her from some non non-existent medical threat. Me as Liza's savior? Well, that's an interesting scenario. And she doesn't need a nursemaid either. Believe me, if she needs help, she'll get it from me. From you? Yes, that's right. Liza and I are getting closer every day. Even though she's carrying another man's baby? She's carrying her baby. The health and welfare of which I care about a great deal. But not the paternity. Liza is all I care about. So cease and desist with your scary pregnancy stories, Doc. I'm not out to frighten Liza, Adam. I'm not interested in interfering in her pregnancy or in her life. Good. Then we understand each other. Perfectly. Haley. Darling, what's the matter? What's wrong? What isn't? An elevation in the AFP readings could mean a range of things. Such as? You could be carrying twins. Or? Or there could be a mistake in a gestational age, which could be the reason for a false positive reading. Well, what, what does a real positive mean? I mean, in English. False positive readings are sometimes interpreted as meaning birth defects. No. There's, there's no way that... No, there's no, there's no way that there could be a mistake in the conception age because I had it done at the clinic. Dr. Clater, my, my, Liza, my baby... Liza, Liza, please. Take it easy. What are you talking about birth defects? No, I'm not talking about that specifically. There, there could be any number of causes for the abnormal reading. Now, now, now all of a sudden it's abnormal. What, what other causes? Well, that's What just... other causes? Fetal demise. No. I, I would, I would know. And, and, the, and, and I would know, Dr. Clater, that there's just nothing... Liza, Liza, I'm just trying to explain to you what the causes might be. It may be none of the things I explained to you, but one thing I do know is that we need further testing. What, what kind of testing? I don't want to get you more upset. Well, I think it's a little late for that. Now, your, your baby could be perfectly normal, but given your, your medical history... You mean my stillbirth? No, no, I mean the, the scare we had a few years ago, the abdominal pain, the bleeding. What? Now, there may no. be nothing, nothing wrong with your baby. Are, are you telling me that I could have ovarian cancer? Liza, I don't want you jumping to any conclusions. Now, we have to find out what spiked those AFP levels. And the only way we can do it is for you to have an ultrasound and an amniocentesis. No, no, I'm not having an amniocentesis. You told me that my pregnancy was progressing normally, that my baby was developing perfectly, and that I was healthy. As far as I can see. Now, all of a sudden, you're talking to me about birth defects and ovarian cancer. And, and, and what was it? Fetal demise? My baby is not dead, Dr. Clater. Is it, is it what happened last time? Because I can't see that it, that it could be unless I was exposed to something else. Liza, all we know is we need to take another look, a closer look. Now, I'm going to get you some pamphlets and we'll go over them together. Then when you've had a chance to think, we'll talk some more. Be all right, lads. Liza, I heard your voice. You sounded terrified. They did a test, and uh, the numbers are too high. Well, we'll fix it. We, we didn't fix it last time. We didn't know about it last time. But no, we'll what fix it. it. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Okay. You know, sometimes your ego is a really wonderful thing. You need to calm down, relax, breathe, breathe. Big deep breath. That's it. Your baby needs a calm, relaxed mommy. Yeah. 
It's gonna be all right. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. I, I would like Adam to stay with me. I, I want someone with me. By all means. But I urge you, Liza, don't overreact. These tests are only indicators. Indicators of what? Would you please tell Adam everything I, I want him to know? Well, among other things, twins or triplets. <laughs> we, we had a sonogram. We only saw one child, Dr. Cole. Well, sometimes early on, one fetus can mask another. Or we could have misjudged your conception date. Th that's not a possibility. I was keeping track of my cycle. I only had one insemination. Well, there is a possibility that the lab uh, misread the, the test. But then repeat the test. It's Dr. Do the damn thing over again. Dr. Clater, you don't think that this is something to do with the lab. Or, th or that I conceived on a different date. You think that my baby has a birth defect. Or that it's dead. Or that I have ovarian cancer. Liza, I, I don't think Dr. Clater knows yet. Why the numbers are high, do you, Doctor? You're absolutely correct, Mr. Chandler. And that's why I'm urging further testing. We'd start with an amniocentesis. You said you didn't want an amnio. Well, there is a slight risk of a miscarriage. Very slight, Liza. No, there has to be some other way, Doctor. Well, we, we need more information, and we need it soon. As soon as possible, because if there is a problem, a serious problem, I want to give Liza the option to terminate the pregnancy. I want you to know, Liza, I've done hundreds of amnios. It is a delicate procedure, but I can assure you that... I want to hear the baby's heartbeat. Before we do anything, I want to know that my baby's alive. It was miraculous. The heartbeat is so fast. <laughs> That's perfectly normal at this point of the pregnancy. It's a good sign. Yeah. Dr. Clater, I'm going to keep my child. If, if she's sick or she needs help, there's problems, I'll take care of her. That's entirely up to you, Liza. But I still strongly recommend the amnio. If there is a problem, we might be able to solve it while the, the baby is still in utero. And we'll also have specialists standing by when you deliver. So, uh, shall I schedule the amnio? Could we have a few minutes, Doctor? Yes, I'd like to think about it. Absolutely. I've got a patient to see. It was strong. <laughs> Wasn't it the baby's heartbeat? Of course it was. Look at her mother. I said, this is frightening. All, all these possibilities. But that's all they are, is possibilities. I believe absolutely that this baby is going to be 100% perfect. And I think that's what the amniocentesis will show. To have the amnio, it'll set your mind at rest. Do you remember when we lost our baby? Yes, of course I remember. Well, I don't want that to happen again. Liza, when we lost our baby, I lost you. And if I can survive that, I don't think you can survive whatever it takes to, to help this child, whether it's an amniocentesis or, or surgery or, or parking you in a field of pillows mm -hmm. for a few months. You can handle it. There's something else, isn't there? Something you're not saying. When I uh, lost our baby, I blamed you. I, I blamed you, Adam. And it's what saved me and my sanity. But now, this is my decision. And if I do this, and I lose my baby. I have no one to blame but myself. No, 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 no. There's no one to blame, period. 
I said, whatever you do, you're going to do out of love for your child. Well, you, you're going to weigh the risks and, and, the, and the benefits, and you're going to do what you're going to do out of love for your child. Of that, I have no doubt. And neither should you. Thank you. I'm, I'm just really scared. Yeah, I know. All I can do is offer you my help and support. You just say the word, and I'll go through this with you. I'll be with you every step of the way. Together, we can handle anything. Won't regret it, Liza. Trust me, I've never had a problem with an ambulance. I'm counting on it. It's a wise decision. There's no substitute for having the entire genetic blueprint right in front of me. Especially when it nails the father. Enjoy a wild last, Adam. You're about to be busted. Haven't you heard of the telephone? It's this new age device that rings. You ask if you can come over. You might have said no. Well, a pepperoni pizza would have granted you entry. Sorry. <laughs> but what I have to say is very important. Do you hear me out? Hmm. Why do I get that sinking feeling? Your ex-husband put me in a very difficult position today, Liza. Because of him, I was forced to tell a lie. A whopper, in fact. Did Dr. Clater say something to you about my pregnancy? No, no, this was strictly personal, just between Adam and myself. This afternoon, after I ran into you outside of Dr. Clater's, Adam and I had a little chat, Chandler style. He did all the talking. I take it he wasn't spreading holiday cheer. He told me, in no uncertain terms, to stay away from you. He did what? According to Adam, you two are an item again, and I should keep my interest and my friendship elsewhere, permanently. You don't need me, and you most certainly don't need a nursemaid. Nursemaid? His word, not mine. There's so much for mutual trust. Where does... I don't understand how he thinks that you're my nursemaid. No, beats me. I mean, the Liza that I've come to know is capable of taking care of herself. To say the least. She's strong, fiercely independent. Yeah, right. And now for Chandler blood, where does he get off? Well, he appears to be taking a proprietary interest in your pregnancy. No encouragement from you required. I mean, actually, I did ask Adam to stay with me while I made my decision to have the amnio. So you're going to be doing the amnio? What made you change your mind? Um, my AFP levels were high. Dr. Clater recommended it. Oh, Liza. But hey, uh, you know, high AFP levels can mean nothing. It could be any number of things. It could be literally that you're carrying twins. Yeah, I know. And Dr. Clater explained all that. I'm sure that your baby's fine. The amnio will only prove that. I gotta tell you, this whole thing with Adam, it really infuriates me. I mean, my friends are my friends, David. If he wants to muscle somebody, why doesn't he bug his employees? He pays them enough to take his abuse. My friends are off limits. I lied to him, Liza. I told him that I would stay away from you. I just wanted to make sure that you didn't have any trouble. But the truth is this. I can't keep away from you. I told Adam that I considered our relationship strictly professional, just to keep him quiet. Adam seems to think that you're his personal property, but I know the truth. Nobody owns Liza Colby, and that's why I find you absolutely irresistible. You're a very attractive man, and I know you're interested in me. You've told me more than enough. <laughs> you're a beautiful woman, Liza. And I don't mean just physically. I mean, you have a glow within you, and I find that captivating, intoxicating. David, I... But wait a minute. I am not joking around this time around, okay? I'm very serious. I know. And, and I'm flattered. I, I am. It's just that part of what Adam told you is true. 
that we are getting close again and and don't don't ask me to explain it i i really i don't know why but i do want to know or find out where it goes so you don't mind that he treats you like property no it's maddening i mean it's infuriating but the one thing i do know about myself is that i know how to handle adam and i'm far less sure of that with you so even though it might sound entirely lame i i I guess I want to tell you that I respect our friendship and I don't want to lose that. The friend's speech is really lame, right? No, go right ahead, please. Shoot yourself in both feet. Mm. It eases my pain, believe Look, me. Look, for, for sense of humor and confidence, I give you a 10. And I know that we click professionally, but that's as far as it's going to go for us. I want you to be happy, Liza. And if Adam's the one that does that for you, then I am happy for you. Can I believe that? Absolutely. <laughs> if a close, working relationship is the best that I can have with you, then I'll take it. Good night. Offer you my help and support. You just say the word, and I'll go through this with you. I'll be with you every step of the way. Together. Maybe you're right, Adam. Maybe you're right. Amnio, huh? Thousands of women do it every day. There's no reason to be scared. I'm not scared. Just of the results. What the results could mean to me and my baby. Well, what what would they mean to your baby? Well, I'm, I'm having this test because the AFP levels came back too high, and Dr. Clater recommended it so that we could find out why. What's an AFP? Alpha fetal protein. So if it comes back abnormal, it could mean birth defects, ovarian cancer. Could it, could it be normal? Could be, yeah. <sighs> Thank God. Um, well, then let's let, let's think positively. And I tell you what, um, why don't you? Why don't you let me run you over to the hospital? We'll do this thing together, you know? I'll be fine. Really, I, I'm, I'm okay. And, and just don't say anything to Jake. I don't want him to worry about me. Yeah, but Liza, that's all the more reason for me to go with you. I don't want you doing this thing alone. There's no way. Oh, somebody has already agreed to go with me. Don't tell me. Oh, come on. Adam Chandler. Come on, Liza, what is wrong with you? Why? Why would you do something like that? You honestly want to let an egomaniacal parasite like Adam Chandler hold your hand through one of the most important moments of your entire pregnancy? Don't you dare speak ill of Adam Chandler. If he offered to take my daughter to the hospital, then she couldn't be in better hands. Adam, you might as well tell me. Because if you don't, I'm going to find out anyway. I always do. Stuart, you can top George Bloody Washington when it comes to never telling a lie. What does that have to do with this? The reverse is also true. You can always tell when I'm lying. Oh, not always. Oh, yes, you can. Of course you can. And you can see that I'm telling you the truth right now. I love Liza. My life has been an emotional wasteland since I lost her. It was your own fault. You forced her to sign that divorce settlement. I was an idiot. Yes, that's true. Since the moment I lost her, I've realized what my, my pride has cost me. And now I want her back. And the baby? Yes. Of course, I will love that child as if it were my own. All I want is Liza. Back where she belongs. 
You know, love can make people do f crazy things sometimes. Especially a man like you. Now, what do you mean, a man like me? Adam, when you really want something bad, you, you, you kind of tend to go overboard some. Well, I'm not going to do anything to jeopardize my relationship with Liza. If that's what you're worried about. Well, you better not. Because you know how smart she is. She'll see right through you. What are we doing out here? It's freezing. Couldn't be in better hands. What are you, high? Hmm. Look at this. It's not even noon. She's half in the bag. I haven't had a drop of anything to drink all morning except coffee, Ted. Well, then you snapped. I don't believe this. After everything Adam Chandler has done to you, that little buffet for your sexual fan club at the Valley and Topping the List, you're actually going to try and stick up for him. Well, look, I, I, I'm about to marry his brother. I mean... Well, why shouldn't we give him a second chance? Maybe he's learned his lesson and become a better person. Yeah, maybe Charlie and Manson would make a great den mother for the Girl Scouts. Honestly. First Liza, now you. It's like the man's putting something in your water. If you come to your senses in the next ten minutes, you want me to go to the hospital with you, I would be proud to, okay? I'm going to go over and have lunch with Dad anyway. If not... Uh... Liza, about the amniocentesis... Look, well, mother, mother, mother. Forget the amnio. Adam got to you, didn't he? Adam got to me? Maybe Adam's learned his lesson. Maybe Adam's a better person. Did he write you a script? Did he embroider it on a little pillow so that it would seep into your brain while you were sleeping? Oh, Liza, don't be silly. Oh, Mother, I am dead serious. You are parroting the same lines that he fed me the other night. Admit it. All right, fine. Don't admit it, because I can see it. It's in your eyes. All right, okay, we talked. Is that a crime? Conspired is probably more like it. Did he offer you a little bribe? A custom-made wedding gown, perhaps? Well, that's not what convinced <gasps> me. I, I don't believe it. I'm, I'm right? A gown? You let yourself be bought off with a gown? I said there was much more than that. Oh, I bet there was. Tony, well, I mean, that wasn't what convinced me. Adam told me that he loved you like he's never loved any woman before, and I believe him, Liza. I really do. So when he asked me to put in a good word for him, I agreed. He didn't force me to do anything. Said the woman who was bought off. Now, enough about Adam. What about the amniocentesis? Oh, mother, I don't even want you to talk about it. Stupid tests, I mean... And none of this would be happening if the AFP levels were just normal. Liza, listen to me. This baby is going to be a healthy, beautiful little Liza. My granddaughter is going to be perfect, just like her mommy, believe me. Mother, you're in love. Looking everything through rose-colored glasses. Oh, yes, I'm in love. I'm deliriously so. But I don't need rose-colored glasses to know that your baby's going to be just fine, because I can feel it in my heart. And I didn't feel that way the first time you were pregnant, Liza. Marion is quite right. This baby will be the nonpareil of genetic perfection. Well, I think that's redundant, but I'll take it. <laughs> Uh, Marion, uh, Stuart is waiting for you downstairs. Oh, that's right. We we're going to look at wedding bands. Uh, unless you want me to come to the hospital with you, Donnie. No, no, Mother. Wedding bands sounds like it'd be a lot more fun. Give Stuart my love. I will, Donnie. And take good care of her, okay? Mm. Bye. Uh, you don't have to do this. I, I can find my way to the hospital, Adam. Why should you go to that hospital all alone today when there's somebody, somebody right here who wants to go with you, is dying to go with you, who cares about you and your and, and small Colby, too? <laughs> don't, don't, don't reject this poor soul. Let me take you to the hospital. Maybe I shouldn't do the amnio. I should take my chances. Uh, After all, it's only a few months before I Liza, have... Liza, Liza you're, not the, you're not the type to live in ignorant bliss. You're, you're far too impatient, like somebody else I know. What if I have a miscarriage, Adam? Liza, the reason our first baby, I mean our baby, died was because of a virus. Now, perhaps if they had taken these tests, then they would have found that virus and been able to treat it. This is all the more reason that, that you should determine if, if uh, and I accent the word if, there's anything wrong 
then perhaps they can nip it in the bud. You're right. Thank you. And for whatever it's worth, whatever happens at that hospital today, I am 100% behind you. Shall we go? Talking to doors now, Martin? Since when does David Hayward have an office in this hospital? Oh, since Palmer Cortland said the magic word. Why would Palmer Cortland give a damn about that weasel? Who knows? Were you and David arguing? No, I was talking to Dixie. Uh, I thought she was going to faint. She had trouble breathing, and he comes out and whisks her into his office. That's handy, isn't it? No, oh, don't be cute. What if something's wrong with her? There's nothing wrong with Dixie. And how would you know that? Because she spent the night last night in my place. If there were anything wrong with her, I would know that. Dixie stayed with you? In my home. She had her own wing. Hey, well, that obviously explains it. What'd you use? Arsenic? Strychnine? It's not like you haven't had any practice. You know, it's really not too late for you to start reading something more challenging than comic books. Oh, oh, oh. wait, 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 wait. Hold, 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 hold on. Everybody to their corners. <laughs> Or, or better yet, why don't you go and see if Dr. Clater is running on schedule? Your wish is my command. Hmm. When did you learn that sentence? Hmm. I don't mind you getting rid of me. I'm uh, a reformed man, remember? Well, that's a nice trick. Hmm. You think you can get him to play dead? What's up with Hayward slamming the door in my face like that? Patient privacy. No, 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 there's something else going on. So, go in. Confront Hayward. Confront Dixie. Or you know what? Let it go. Hayward, anything. He's a good doctor. He's a quack. I wouldn't believe one word comes out of his mouth. He is not a quack. Oh, so now you're his pal? It's a free country. Well, you obviously have really bad taste in friends. It explains why I picked you. Thank you. Hmm, anytime. It's not going to work. What? Ragging on me. It's not going to take your mind off the amnio. Can't believe it. You busted me. Clater's doing it, right? That's good, because he's the best there is. You know, if God sees fit to give me a special child, I can handle that. It's just the thought of losing this baby, of miscarrying. I mean, the, the baby that Adam and I would have had would be ten months old now. Can you believe that? I mean, I would be getting ready to celebrate his or her first Christmas. Mm. I, I want to have this baby. I know, honey. You will. Promise? Because this time next year, I want to be getting ready for this little one's Christmas. This time next year, I'm going to be jumping around in a red suit, making a fool of myself in front of your kid. <laughs> well, there's an image. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should practice. What do you say, little girl? Would I jump up on Santa's lap? Tell me to want for Christmas. <laughs> well, you look healthy enough. I am. Good. Tad's going out of his mind worrying about you. <laughs> well, there's no need. Well, I told him that. A lot of good it does. Maybe he's finally not listening to you. Tad is the best friend that I've ever had in my life. Oh, you've had him, all right. Dixie, it's been very painful watching him get all wrapped up in you again. I'm sure it is. I would be delighted if the two of you got back together. Really? Yes. You are the one person in this universe who makes him very, very happy. And he's not happy right now. You, you come into his life, you, you leave his life. What you're doing is very cruel. I want you to grab him or let him go, but make a choice. Is everything okay out here? Yeah, I was just trying to clear the air. Well, she smells a lot like a bull's pasture, if you ask me. Well, why don't you ladies just agree to disagree and avoid one another? Fine with me. We'll uh, move to higher ground. Dr. Clater is ready for you. Yeah, I'm a minute too soon. Is this your idea of taking it easy? I'm sorry. I can't help it. I hate her. She's a witch. Well, she certainly cast a spell over Adam.
Plato said he was ready to go. What's the problem? I think you are having this procedure. Yeah, well, there's no excuse for a doctor keeping patients waiting. Well, a life and death emergency. Just relax. My time is valuable. So is yours. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm the one who's supposed to be tense here. No, 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 no. You, you just calm down. You just, just relax. Just, just think about how, how healthy and perfect this baby is going to be. And how you have to spend the next 24 hours flat on your back. Ugh, I'm going to go stir crazy. Should I uh, have something brought in? How about how about Lucretia making that favorite dish of yours, the bouffe lorette? <gasps> With the asparagus and the mm -hmm. potatoes? Yeah. Well, wait, 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 what do you mean, brought in? What are you talking about? Would you prefer duck or maybe trout almond? No. Bean? What do you mean by bringing it in? I'm not staying here. Well, no, of course not. And I assumed you wouldn't want to stay at my place, so I'll be taking care of you in the loft, your loft, 24-hour care, full food service. And entertainment. Entertainment? Mm -hmm. Sounds intriguing. I've gotten six of your favorite Mel Gibson films. All the way from Mad Max to Braveheart. <laughs> You're seriously getting into this. Mm -hmm. unless, unless you've uh, gotten tired of Mel Gibson, uh, you want some other film hunk? Oh, no, bite your tongue. <laughs> I adore Mel, and I trust your judgment in movies, that is. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. How are you feeling, Liza? Oh, fine. A, l a little nervous. No, no, don't be. You'll be able to watch everything I'm doing, and I promise I'll be very careful. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I've got some very good news, Liza. I saw nothing abnormal in the uterus or the ovaries. No cancer? No sign of it. And the baby? And we're going to check your baby now. Now, as I explained earlier, this isn't going to take long. And it'll hurt about as much as a pin prick. A big pin. <laughs> Let's get started. Now, I'm going to need you to lie absolutely still. And I want you to breathe evenly, not too deep, not too shallow. That's it. Nice and steady. <laughs> 